Hello, hello, and welcome back. I am Maester Alex, and this is Fallout 4 Crazy Shanked. And oh my goodness, we got to a little crafting station right over there, and we were able to do something amazing. <gasps> oh, the poor little death claws that used to live here. Well, we're going to honor them. Yes. And of course, no ensemble would be complete without this. <gasps> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> all right, all right. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Enough of that now. I mean, you had yourself a good idea, but now you got to stop, little girl. We got some serious business to do. Matter of fact, so serious. <clears throat> Finally, Nora, gain focus, don't mess this up, and go find those people who stopped that courier, and kill them. You know how important it is that the mail never be stopped. If you mess with a courier, you get what you deserve. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Nora, just talk to her, seriously. Edward said you might know where to start looking for the package that went missing. Oh, you're the new girl. So this package, pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery, just north of here. The Creamery, you say? So you've just been waiting for me to show up to do something about those assholes. As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah. We were waiting for you. That's your job, to deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. That's true. Edward wouldn't have hired me if he thought you could have done the job. You throw in a lot of attitude for the new gal. Guess we'll see soon enough if you're just blowing smoke or not. Oh, you'll see. No. Strong learn new words. Strong learn respect. Respect is a good word. Strong respect human. Human fight good. Human help strong. Super mutants are brothers. Brothers share all, not own things like humans. Humans share like brother. Super mutants fight, kill, not talk. Human kill, not talk. Human would be good, super mutant. Thank you, Strong. I respect you too. Of course. Strong is strong. Well, that was probably the best conversation you could have possibly had with that man. And the fact he shows he respects you because you kill things. Do you not understand it yet, Nora? Kill things. It is what you need to do. Ugh. So. Some people hold up in a creamery. So they've decided to bottleneck themselves in. Excellent. And what's this? Oh, the courier. Victor spoils. Yes, indeed. The victor is going to get spoiled. Most interesting indeed. That's better. Can I have his boots? Hmm. 
Well, seems you've got friends here. Hi. Got anything? Interesting indeed. What if they set up over here? Hmm. Well, if they're not going to want the ammunition, you can then turn around and kill them with it. I stay. That's what you should do. <sighs> if you insist on using that tool, grisly as it is. Serum. Most mysterious indeed. Quite the eclectic collection of armor. <sighs> no raiders, no, no, no. There's nothing you need to see here. Now, did we hear someone die, or... They, they just screaming for no reason. This room. Hmm. I'll continue enjoying your creamery, idiots. Ah, what's next? Ah, we're turning to the Cabot House. Well, that should be fairly straightforward after all. And let's go talk to that snooty person. Rub her face in it. There she is. Hi. Well, I guess Edward knew what he was doing when he hired you. You better get your ass on back to Cabot House with that package. Edward's not as patient as he seems. Hmm. Well, at least there's some respect from her as well. Not just strong. Strong want to smash something. Yes, of course, Strong want that. Ugh. To the Cabot House, then. Ah. The robots are still out. How pleasant. And I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack! How dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I can't bear to think what might be happening so to So did you find out what happened to the courier? She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. 
I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about oh, the serum he was carrying? Serious. Did you get any of it back? There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. I insist you send someone to find Imogene. I'm not Imogene's babysitter. If she chooses to go off without telling anyone, that's her business. No. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear Edward? You shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, oh, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Great. The sister's even crazier than Jack. She's not crazy. She just wants the world to be a different place than it really is. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor, at the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. What if she doesn't want to come home? Obviously, as one of the family, you can't just knock her in the head and drag her home by her heels. Usually, by the time I send someone after her, she's gotten bored with the whole thing and is ready to come home. I'm sure you'll think of something. You're supposed to be resourceful, remember? Yes, Nora. Be resourceful. <sighs> Can't just knock her out and nice leap. Well, I guess it's off to good neighbor then. <laughs> yeah, had to go to good neighbor, be a good neighbor, help out the family, get Imogene back. Of course, hopefully it's not you know too soon. Wouldn't want to walk on a, walk in on on you know something untoward. <laughs> Yeah, I, ooh. Hey. No bite. Bad doggo. There you go. You done real good with that doggo, Nora. Showed it who's bossing every stuff. More gunfire sounds. That sounds fun. Yeah. These humans like fighting. Ooh. Gun store. <laughs> Lots of other stuff, too. Alright, there's that memory den that the Nick said we should go check out. Yeah, we'll go do that sometime soon. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Tell him thank you. All right. Hey. Ooh. Well, that's pretty. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. No need to feel like a stranger. 
Boy, all I got beer. Strange. You ain't buying beer, you ain't mine. Have you got a history? Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia! Gal, what's a word? Hey. Smell that? That's freedom. Alright. Mm. Yep. Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. Hancock greased old Finn. Finn had it coming. I loved the song. It was perfect. Strong prefers sound of battle. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, it's your hands. They move even when you aren't thinking, right? Quick on the draw. <laughs> So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? Me? Playing a game. First idiot who grabs my ass gets his arm broken. Ten points if he's drunk. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? <laughs> do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seemed like a body that could use looking after. Hmm. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, could you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Well, we better go save her from that preacher fella. Enjoy your stay. <sighs> How wonderful. Someone new. Is it true you're from one of those balls? I met a few of your kind once before back in D.C. Charming people. Badly dressed, but charming all the same. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Then consider yourself fortunate. You weren't exposed to their latest trends. Granted, being a popsicle doesn't sound all that fun either. How'd you end up here? I'm here on business. A man thinks I'm better off dead. I beg to differ. Right now, he's waiting for me in some dusty hideout with a full staff of gunners. I hope to match him gun for goon. Anything I can do to help? Yes, there is. Perhaps you'd be interested in being my personal goon. Or gun, if you prefer. And in exchange, I will be yours. It doesn't matter who plays what role first. Just say the word and I'm right behind you. Huh. That's certainly interesting. Tell me about yourself. What's your story? Oh, you don't want to ask that question, darling. When a woman's lived for over 200 years, they've been a great many people. 
I've been an heiress, a salvager, a mercenary, and a fool. I feel it's far better to be the latter of the four. It makes it easier to relate to the common man. Tell me more about Good Neighbor. The ex-gunner, McCready. I actually met him once before. I doubt he remembers me, though. We mungos all look alike. That's all for now. Very well. Well, that's certainly interesting. Could, could Entertainments you, down the stairs. Could, could you scoot over? Uh, uh, could, could you all? Thank you. Alright, so... <sighs> we, we get to go take care of this problem. What? Somebody just died? That's interesting. But to the back bay! Uh, over that away. Oh. Huh. Oh. Hey there, critter! <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, goodness! Up and now. There you go. Oh, that must be that, uh. Huh. But we gotta read them notes later. Let's, uh. Oh. Oh my, that's pretty. Hey, you got some of that. Oh. The mannequin got surprised me. Oh no! Quick to the back bay. Away from them super mutants. Oh, hey, hey. There's one of them super mutants over here somewhere. You remember? Don't you? Load you up a couple times. You're here, you're here. Stop hiding. Hey. <sighs> Hey, look, it's both Thomas. Hey. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? The whole world is broken. That's what I used to think. Until I found a way to make a difference. To transform my life. And maybe everyone else's too. We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. It Step does sound exciting. Way, and I'll be happy to tell yeah. you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. <laughs> I'm not looking for a sales pitch. A sales pitch is the last thing I would ever give you. I'm not selling anything, neighbor. I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. Giving them away. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. I have some questions first. Of course you do. And I'm here to answer them. Shoot. <sighs> I don't have any. Good. You owe it to yourself to give it a chance. Not a chance. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I really can't take no for an answer, though. Once you find out all the benefits of being one of the pillars, I think you'll see where I'm coming. 
Right. Right this way, neighbor. Too much light. <sighs> Ooh. That's nice. Where are you going, buddy? Don't be shy. Just follow me. Well, we're trying, but you're off moving awfully slow. Go on. Get. Oh. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Ah, right. good. You're in here. All righty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting <laughs> to welcome new members into our group. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. Just go ahead and give me everything you own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. Strong not pillar. Strong keep hammer. <laughs> I'm actually just looking for Emma Jean Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emma Jean is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. I'm not leaving without seeing her. You can't see her. She, uh, can't come out of her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. <laughs> She's not seeing anybody until she cools off. <laughs> uh. I'm going to see her one way or another. Your choice. Strong smash this one now. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. Time. <laughs> all right, now we get to kill all these people. Hey. Hey. Get on. Guy here. Oh, hey, Nate. <laughs> I'm nice of them just to come running up, and make it easier on all of us. Awfully nice of them just come running up. <sighs> ain't ain't got much. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, bullets. All right. Any more of these sad sacks? stuff around here all right let's go get that there emerging hey oh oh and anybody here huh she must have run out. Unless, oh no, you don't think we killed her, did you? No, no. Alright, well. Here's a good enough place to say thank you all for joining me. I hope you're enjoying my content as much as I'm enjoying making it for all of you. And you know I do? Because I just keep making videos for y'all. Anyway. 
If you like this one, please remember to do the usual YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that usual stuff. Otherwise, uh, please check out the links in the description down below. I'd love to see you all on my Discord server and, you know, check out the other stuff while you're there. Anyway, thank you all for joining me and I shall see you all next time.